Good evening, good evening, class. Professor De Winan Duhart, welcome to our CS230 operating platform uh, for this particular term. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be with you guys. I appreciate you selecting me to be your instructor for this class, and I welcome all of you. Tonight, what I just want to do is just to go over the expectation and the things that uh, we're going to be covering during this class, especially module one. You just go into your class, and we are going to go into learning module and see what we are expecting and we're going to look into uh the overall class uh basically this is working you know to to this class and as you can see what is this class is going to cover and the thing that you're expecting to learn out of this class so like the utilize uh software design templates and patterns to efficiently solve a problem um i, I want to bring this to your attention this is a upper you know operating platforms and um you know, looking not only into how um, operating systems work, you know, but also how they are designed and behind the scene. You know, how can a software work and put together, but also not only from the computer perspective, but also from the end server perspective. The integration, when you are designing an application, you not only think about the client, you have to think about the server side. All right. So I want you to keep that in mind because there's going to be a couple of assignments that you will have to um, think about the server side part of the assignment. OK, so analyze the characteristics, the characteristics of and techniques spe specific to various systems architecture. So. How do we design the system? How do we put it together? Those are the things that you want. I want you guys to think about when you're looking about this class. The, I, you know, think out of the box. I'm not telling you to be you know subject only to to the to the tools that we are teaching you and the things that you have during every week assignment or the modules. You can go and think out of the box. Do googling, good YouTube videos, etc. I want you to go beyond what is is asking for this class. You know. Some of you are, or the majority probably are already computer science or doing some type of computer courses. I hope this is not only a requirement course that you want to take just to move on, but it is a class that you are seeking to learn uh, and that you are pursuing because you want to be a computer science, you want to be a software developer, you want to be a um, software engineer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, this is basically everything that the class is covering. I'm going to go through this as this is going to give me is going to give you guys everything that this class is going to it's going to cover so uh, projects um, there's some ter terminology requirements they're going to be quizzes and discussion and and just to, to let you guys know these questions as you know you need to ensure that the discussion are uh, you know that align with the topic of the week you know I don't, I don't i don't want you to be going off the topic I need you to stay on the topic and you can provide your experience in the fields if you have it or anything that you have learned before. The other thing is make sure that you provide two substantial feedback to your classmates. A lot of you only provide one. One is not enough. One doesn't meet the criteria. Therefore, you would get zero for that particular element of the rubric. So make sure you are, you know, providing the, you know, what is required. Okay, and sufficient information. If you write only one line saying, "Oh, hey, your 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 point is great. I like it. I enjoy it. Thank you. Uh, keep it up." Okay, that's that's fine. But you you would not get enough point for that. I want you to stay focused on the topic and that you challenge your classmates. It is important that you challenge your classmates. How? Ask questions. Uh, hey, how 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 did you do it? You know, I did this, but I got a different results. I don't know things like that of that nature. Okay. When, you, when it comes to, to papers, when you have to write papers, etc., this is not an English class. However, I'm going to be looking into any grammar and expelling and, 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 you know, and the contents of your information provided. We also have Turnitin. If you take any information from any outsourced material and you don't provide a citation and the right format, AP, you know, APL or, or ML, or ML you, you, you would get highlight it. I'm going to flag it and I'm going to let you know and you're going to get probably zero for that for not using citations in the proper format. So please keep that in mind. 
as you, I don't want you to fail the class, but at the same time, I want you to learn and doing it right. Okay, so this is this is the uh, the C levels for this class operating platform, um, and you can see basically the the skills and the knowledge in the field. And this is like three hundred level courses, but um, this is what is actually covering right the, the competencies of this class. Um, the material you, you should have already there. Um, one thing that I want to also mention is a portal. That is the virtual lab you guys can use. You have the access to that. We're going to probably look into that. Uh, this is the way the assignments are, the points, and, you know, the total points that you can get out of that. And, and here are, you know, the grading that you will get. So I don't, I'm not going to go over that. So the assignment ones and, and the topics, um, you probably went over that. And I don't want to take some time here because I'm going to go over that in a few minutes. So uh, the policy... Especially the late policy, I am very, I mean, I, I like to put this, these policies in place and I'm very flexible with it. I want you to understand communication is key for this class, all right? So please keep that in mind. If you do not communicate with me in last minute, you want me to make some adjustment or extension, that might not happen. If you're going to be out for whatever reason, you can't submit your assignment on time, you need to let me know and you need to receive an agreement from me saying, yes, you can submit your assignment one week after or two weeks after. I will not take assignment out of the allowance time frame unless you have a an agreement, unless you have an agreement with me. Okay, so keep that in mind because some of you might submit an assignment very late or last minute when the, when the, the term is, is about to end and then you're going to get from me a zero because I'm not going to be, I'm not going to go back. If you don't submit your assignment on time or you don't get an agreement uh, from me, there's nothing I can do. If you have any disability, please get that written from your doctor and submit it to me so that I have a um, OQE, right, of basically a proof of your OAC, the Online Accessibility Center, and I have that in case I need to use it, okay? The Academy Integrity, that's basically have to do with plagiarism, and if you know misconduct, anything that you say, anything that you do, um, any material that you use, that is not yours, and you don't give credit to the author or the writer, that is going to be considered a plagiarism, okay? Let me move on. This is a video that you can watch yourself, and I'm going to go over that. I already shared that video about the what is um, operating system, kind of like an introduction so you can use that. Of course, uh, infographic, you know, um, I can we can look into this as well. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes, no, not that I don't use it, but I don't I don't go over this. This is basically telling you the course description, the uh, the competency projects, the things you're gonna work on, and here it's project one, um, which is during module three submission, creative technology solutions. So prepare yourself for design, document for your clients. Uh, I mean, some of you already have taken other courses. You probably know how to put a project together. Um, go over this and make sure that you you are following the instructions as described because if you don't, there's no way I can justify you not doing it the right way. I'm going through the rubrics and I need you to, to make sure that you, you know, hit those points of the rubrics, that you address the rubrics. Another thing that I want to also, I want to clarify here is that if you're putting a project together, please make sure that you use titles to titles bolded that is clear don't 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 put everything together in one page just because you you know you want to submit it make sure your paper is organized it's clear that i understand just think about like you're putting a project for me and you want to make sure that you know it is it is it is professionally done and i'm going to be impressed for your project so grammar spelling all this stuff and also the organization and the structure of your project counts all right, if, if you come into the company and, and you're bringing me a resume that is all messed up, no, it's not clear, it's, it's, it's hard to understand, then you might not be hired, okay? Just keep that in mind. So project two, it's, it's already there. Draw it or lose it. If you, you know, continue basically preparing that project that you are submitting, that software design, um, and then we can, we can continue doing all of that. So... This is basically where you are in the path that you want to continue moving on. This is good for you guys to kind of design your career path, where you want to go, what else you want to do. 
um, it is it is important to kind of take a look into this career path and you know look into yourself and see okay if this is the way is this is the way I want to go am I on the am I on the right path what else can I do okay so you guys can look into that and you can let me know if you have any questions so this is an example of you know turn it in I'm not gonna go over that this is something that you guys can look into it as well um, you're gonna get a percentage of your turn it in you have to make sure please that you get a low uh, like the lowest point possible i can take a 20 percent simulatory probably 25 max 30 but if it's something go 40 30, 50 and above you're gonna get an email from me and a message saying your assignment is zero for now you know you need to work it out you're gonna have 24 hours to get it done so just make sure please that your project is as yours as possible not somebody else's project so this is this is module one for this week and and there you know you're gonna we're gonna talk about a structure functions and characteristics of various operating systems okay and we can go into details about all of that and using the uml diagrams it is very important that you understand all of that um make sure that you are on time set up your system this is i think this is my first advice for everybody make sure that your system is set up you can use the virtual machine or you can use your local systems i don't i don't i don't mind i'm open to anything as long as you do the assignment and your program which you send it to me runs smoothly so like i'm expecting program to run without any syntax error any any mistake okay so if you have any problem just make sure you let me know we, we can discuss we can talk about it um once again think out of the box okay i'm not expecting you to be um like the software engineers and to know this 100%, but at least I want you to try as much as you can. You know, I'm gonna get some questions here and there about, hey, uh, should I implement this class? Is this class supposed to run? Or, or, or uh, I mean, what name do I use for this variable? No, you, you can go online and search for that. Be creative, just make sure that you hit the assignment and you get it done. Um, and you shouldn't have any problem with me okay you shouldn't have any issue at all um with this assignment so just make sure that you get that these are the objective for this class identify the structures of various operating systems to, to satisfy requirements for basic system functionality remember in the industry anything that we do is based on requirements okay what i work i cannot just develop an application or you know develop these particular features just because I, they have to be a requirement there's no requirement why to put any effort into it uh, to, to just spend time on something that is not, is not a requirement. Identify the essential functions and characteristics of an operating platform. Why do we need this function? Why is this function there? Ask questions. Computer scientists, please ask questions. Think out of the box. Anyone in this computer science field, you are considered an a science or a scientist and someone that goes out of the box to find a solution for the problem. So please, I want you to utilize everything that you can to make sure you go out of the box and that you get the assignment done. Um, so please review the course, in, you know, infographic that we went through already. Uh, the, the, the module one resources, there's a lot of resources there that we already have for you guys. So please go utilize it, go online, do your search as well. Um, and your initial response. Everyone should have your initial response this week and you should have two feedbacks for your peers okay um set up your system make sure you take the quiz and complete module one assignment we need we need that and, and that is basically every week is kind of the same every week you have to go through the module and make sure that you understand you understand the module and you understand what is being required if you have questions you got my email you got my contact just please send me an email let me know do not wait for last minute to submit your assignment and try not to fall behind unless you have to. Please, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the chat. You can send me an email. Let me know. This is everything for now. This is module one, just a little bit of introduction. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Talk to you later.